No longer are you limited by the indicator choices inside the Predator. If you want to automate your own buy and sell signals while still taking advantage of the Predator's order entry and management system, you can do that now and here's how. And just before we get started, if you're looking for a free trial of the Predator, just join our Discord. The link is going to be in the description down below. Go to the Predator info room and download the latest file. The trial should start automatically as soon as you import it. You don't need to sign up with a credit card or anything like that. I want to make it as easy as possible for you to try. Anyways, we're moving on to show an example of how this update works. So the first thing we need to know is how exactly does this new update work? So the signal option for the Predator works by detecting any drawn object on your chart from an indicator. This could be either text, an arrow, triangle, dot, things of that nature. So in this example, I have a modified trend magic indicator that just plots a text when it goes from green to red or from red to green. And these are going to act as our buy and sell signals. I'm not saying trade with this. This is just going to be an example that can be translated to pretty much any indicator that works similar to this. Not all indicators are created the same. And the best way to tell if this is something that's going to work with the Predator signal system is if you can actually click on it and these four little dots should appear. You should be able to right click, go to properties, and it's going to reveal the drawing object information. Now, what information do we need from this to actually make it work with the Predator? What we're looking for is the tag of your drawing object. So we need this right here minus the numbers. We don't need the numbers. Those get added automatically by the Predator. The numbers are just there to say what bar your signal actually got printed on. And that part will match up with the Predator automatically. So what we're looking for here, we need to write down the is red part. And we also must include this little space between the numbers because we have to get everything from the beginning right up until the number. If there's no space between the last character and your number, do not add a space in the Predator. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. I'm going to grab a notepad, just type in is red and scroll down to find your green signal. And you will see the tag is now is green. So now that we have our tags, let's open up the Predator and type this in. So we're going to exit out of here, right click strategies, Predator. So once we open up the Predator, let's scroll down to our auto entry section. And at the very bottom, you're going to find this new option of custom signals. Let's click on that. And we have three options revealed. We have our entry signal, exit and filter. We're going to go through all of these options in this video, but just as a quick breakdown, your entry signals are going to be used to actually submit an order. Your exit signals is the opposite. It's going to be used to exit an order. So if certain conditions are met, it will exit that order. And your filter signal, that is going to actually filter out your reversal, engulf, Barsini row, MA or super trank cross. So let's say you only want to go long during certain conditions. You can filter out those custom signals and only go long or short during those set times. That is now completely up to you. But for a first example, I'm just going to select entry signal. And this is where we can type in our tags. So our long signal, the tag is is green. And remember, there was a space between the N and the number. So just make sure you type in a space in there as well. This has to match exactly how the tag is written out. And for your short signal is red. And again, don't forget the space. So for this, whenever it detects one of these signals, it's going to fire off an order. And again, it's the same order entry management system as the rest of the Predator. It's now going to be added to your signals. So I'm just going to do an R profit of two because why not? And I'm going to come up here and I just want to say that you can check historical trades with this. It will show you the previous trades your strategy would have taken. Just keep in mind 
that if you're using a small bar size with hundreds, maybe even thousands of these drawn objects, it might take a little while to load. So I highly recommend turning this off if that is the case, because it can take a little while to load. So just bear that in mind. I am going to show it just for this video. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to hit apply. Before we enable the strategy, I always recommend just pushing F5 or just reload the Ninja script. And it's just to help make sure everything is refreshed and everything is reading properly. So now that we have that, let's enable our strategy. And now we can see all of our entries. So when we get our down signal, it enters short. Once we get our up signal, it entered long. And same thing, down signal short, entry signal long. And I'm just going to play this just so we can see how it works. Oh, let me fast forward to the actual time. So there we had our up signal, enters long, and see if we get a down one now. Order submitted. Order. And as soon as we got our down signal, it entered short. Now I know some of you following this video are probably like, Dre, that's cool and all, but my tags are actually all the same for the longs and the shorts. So how do we tell which one to take long and which one to take short? Because if we type the same tag for both long and short, the predator is not going to know which one to take. It will usually just take the longs if you have both options selected, or you will have to toggle them on or off. But there's a better way to do that, and that is if we utilize the colors of the signal. So here, just go back into your drawing object and make sure you note the exact color. So for our longs, it's green for our shorts is red. Let's go back into the properties and we're going back to our signals. So in this example, both of our tags were the same. So you would type the exact same tag for both, but now we must use the color identifier. And what this is going to do is it just adds an extra parameter to make sure both the tag and the color match in order to enter a trade in that direction. So for your longs, make sure you select the correct tag and the correct color. Same thing for your shorts, correct tag, correct color. So now we hit enable. And again, we're able to see the traits. Uh, it's not taking longs for some reason. So let's go back into the strategy, see why that's happening. And this is what I mean when I say it has to match exact because we typed in signals instead of signal. So just make sure you type in the tag exactly how it's written with any spaces that might be there. Let's go back. And now it takes the longs like it's supposed to. Now that we understand how the entry signals work, let's go over our exits. So I'm going to shut this off and just open up exit. And this is going to be very similar as our entry signal. The only difference is whatever you select here is going to be your condition to exit out your trade. So just for this example, I'm going to tell it that if I'm in a long position and I see a down signal, I want to exit my long position. So here I will type in signal and we also need that color identifier. So when the signal tag appears with a red color, we will exit our long position. And alternatively, if we are in a short position and if a green signal appears, we will exit our short position. So I'm just going to hit apply, okay, and enable the trade. So just to show how it works, right now we are in a downtrend. So I'm just going to select Enter short, just for the sake of the video. Going to move my stop, move my profit, just so we don't get stopped out right away. And let's speed this up just a little bit. When we get a green signal, the system will automatically exit the trade. So here, as soon as we got our green signal, it took us out of our short trade. And I'm just going to speed this up so we can do the opposite. So I'm just going to enter long. 
and as soon as it detects a red down signal, it's going to exit our long position. So again, I'm going, there we go. So again, our red signal exits long. And that's all it is for the exit signals. It's just if you have some sort of an indicator that tells you when maybe things aren't going to go right and you need to exit out of your position. You have that option in there, use it if it helps your trading. But now for a final example, we're moving on to our filter signal. The purpose of this is to filter out your trades for your built-in auto entries. So that's your reversal, engulf, Barsini row, MA, and super trend cross. Whenever it detects a signal, it's just going to confirm this trade is valid. So let's say I only want to take long reversal trades if they happen while the line is green or shorts if they happen while the line is red. So how we do that is we need to be able to turn on our filter and turn it off as well. So I'm going to say signal and turn on the color identifier. By the way, you only need the color identifier if all the text for your signals are the exact same. If your long and short signals are different, you can actually turn it off. You don't need to have it on. So for my long filter, I'm going to turn it on when it detects a green signal. I'm going to turn it off when it detects a red signal. Now for my shorts, it's going to be the opposite. I'm going to turn it on when it detects a red signal and I'm going to turn it off when it detects a green signal. So I'm basically turning it on and off as the lines progress. So now that we have that, let's select our auto entry method that we want. For this, just a simple reversal and we're going to color the candles. Just another note when using filters, if you have the show historical traits off, it's only going to filter in real time. You won't be able to see any past candles like you normally do. This was just done so the system didn't have to look back at every single signal if you're not wanting to trade historical traits anyways. But with historical traits, yes, it's going to take a little bit longer to load, but it will color the reversals at the appropriate times. So I'm just going to do that for this video. But again, just keep in mind, I recommend turning this off while actually trading. So here we can see that it's only taking the green reversals when the green trend line is on the chart. And it only takes the short reversals when the line is red. So I'm just going to run it so we can see it work. And let me speed this up a little. So while it's green, it's just going to take the long reversals. And now that it turned red, it's just going to take red. So yeah, it ignores the longs, but only takes the shorts. And let's see, we can get a long one. No luck there. So there, as soon as it turned green, it got a long. And if for whatever reason you want to turn your filter off, just go to the top right hand corner and just toggle this so it's transparent and it will just take whichever reversal appears. So that completely ignores your filter. And again, if you wanna turn it back on, it will just start from that moment. And that's all it is for the filters, it's just a way to customize exactly when you want to enter your trade. And you can use this with pretty much any indicator that plots these drawing objects. Here I have a NINSA indicator and you can see it sells whenever there's a sell signal, it buys whenever there is a buy signal. So yeah, you can customize literally anything you want. So I'm just going to play it again one last time so we can see it work. And it buys and sells. So yeah, that's all there really is to it. This opens up the door for a lot of traders to be able to customize pretty much anything you guys want and have the predator execute your trade and manage your order. So with that, if you guys have any indicators or conditions you want to see, let me know in the comments, let me know on Discord. 
I can't promise anything, but I write every suggestion down and I'll try my hardest to get the most requested items done. But with that, take care, enjoy.